Welcome to the Nacolas Workshop. I'm Paul. Today we're going to look at various chucks for the Emco Unimat SL lathe. So first of all let's have a look at a uh, faceplate and um, driving dog. So uh, these are for turning between centres and I've got another video in the playlist um, regarding uh, the various centres on the um, uh, Unimat SL lathe. So uh, simply screw onto the headstock, um, a little dog. Go around your workpiece, slot slots into the uh, into the play, face plate and drives your dog. Uh, this one's all all aluminium. Um, yeah, it's not not much else to say. We can uh, give you an example: uh, the Coke Coke can test or comparison. Um, yep, as it were, yeah. Not much more to say on that one. So we'll put that one out of the way. Okay, so let's have a look at the collet chuck. Uh, we talked about this, uh, or I talked about this um, on Hotspots number two, um, just briefly. It's uh, a genuine uh, Unimat SL um, chuck or collet chuck. Uh, M12 uh, times one thread, as as all most of the chucks we're going to look at today are. Uh, original um, collet was an E16. You can no longer get those, so it's replaced with a an ER16. It is slightly bigger. It does appear to fit into the into the holder. And it's suggested on the web that you can use it. I'm going to do a, um, some investigation a bit uh, more during the um, restoration of my lathes. I want to just check the uh, the taper is the same. And um, it when you when you look at it, it does it sticks out a bit more, so you can't actually get so many threads, complete threads on there. So it's not a it, it's not ideal, but it is workable. Okay, so that's a quick look at collets, and we'll move that out of the way. So we've got some um, Jacobs chucks. So I've got two uh, genuine um, uh, Unimat SL um, uh, Jacobs style chucks. Both, both use uh, yeah Allen keys, uh, Allen keys, um, chuck keys. Uh, again, they. They, the tail stock and the head stock both um, both use the same M12 uh, times one thread, so you could arguably fit this onto the um, the head stock. Um, this is a uh, this is um, one I bought on the web. It's it's I think it is from China. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't feel quite the same. The the, the smoothness of how it runs. What I, what I plan to do when I do the restoration is to put it apart and actually see if I can can get it uh, running smoother. I did buy buy this before before I managed to get hold of the genuine one. So if I can, yeah. Out of interest, I'm keen to um, just see if I can make it run better. I will um, share that with you all when I do the restoration, and it's I. I will sell this so, um, but only after I've tried to make it run a bit a bit nicer um, to fund some more stuff. So yeah, Jacob's Chucks. They um, it the range is from 0 to 6.5 millimeter from a size perspective. Yeah. Okay, Jacob's Chucks out of the way. So we've got um, a couple of couple of three jaw trucks here. So 
Uh, when I bought bought my lathe, it didn't it didn't actually have any chucks. All I had was the um, the faceplate. So this is one. Uh, I get this is definitely a Chinese one. It, it costs next to nothing. Um, it's pretty light. I tried reversing the um, reversing the jaws, and it it's not that good. I couldn't actually get them back in. Although it suggests they will go in the other way, it wouldn't go in with any accuracy, so um, it's not so good. And the back of it is is all open. Um, it has two two points, which are, they are actually threaded, two holes. I'm not sure the size. Um, so again, um, I just bought this because I couldn't find um, a genuine chuck. However, what I will do again, strip it down when I do the restoration, clean it up. And I'm also going to see if I can turn a plate and fit it on, on the back to cover it. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's my plan for that one. But um, it's, it, it's a lot lighter than, than the genuine ones. And um, it doesn't, it, it's not so... Oh no, it needs and it also that's interesting. I hadn't noticed that before. The Tommy bars that fit the the genuine ones don't actually fit these, so so you would end up having another set. I have got them uh, in the toolbox. So um, yeah, I think they're okay to get you going. I'm not sure how long term whether they're they they will serve you too well. I think I think they will. Be relatively inaccurate uh, but as I say I think um, th they are from a price point yeah they will get you going yeah okay so that's the three jaw chuck so this is this is a Unimat three jaw chuck sorry that's the Chinese one this is a Unimat three jaw um, genuine three jaw but it's not from the SL it's from the uh, Unimat three and so what the difference with that is is the size of the ball the, so the thread on here is an m14 times one so it doesn't actually fit onto the uh, onto the spindle headstock spindle so what you can get is uh, conversions so I've got two of these one I purchased here in the UK from uh, RDG tools it's um, it was about 13 pound I think and so that screw screws on there so that's the M14 and you've got 12 there so then that screw onto your headstock um, let's have a look yeah and the um, the holes for the Tommy bar are the same size as the genuine SL ones. Um, sorry, as yes, the genuine Unimat ones. So that was one. I also purchased one from Germany. I don't know the name of the company. Again on eBay. This one's slightly different. It's got um, flats on, so you can actually get a spanner to remove it. But it's basically the same. So the only yes, they do work. Um, and it does allow you to have a, a greater range you know bearing in mind the SL um, lathe was originally started manufacturing or started being supplied in the 1950s it's a, it's a very uh, it's a very old lathe but the downside of this is it, you know you've you just added a load more stick out really onto your onto your uh, onto your uh, headstock so it, again it's one of those things that allows you a greater flexibility in um, in your options this is clearly made a whole lot nicer than the um, than the Chinese one and I think it will serve you serve you well it's so you win on that on that because it is you know it's manufactured very nicely but you start to lose because you have to add the adapter 
and so then you're you're putting another another element of error in in this. So my long term view is that um, I will try and try and find a genuine SL three jaw truck which will have the M12 uh, threads rather than the M14, and then it. That allows me to do away with these and uh, and actually get get everything closer to the headstock. So uh, fi finally, um, sorry, and uh, and on the three jaws, you've got uh, it, it's there's no real chuck key. It's done on a um, uh, I can't think what you call it. The um, well, in it, they're done up by the two Tommy bars. It'll probably come to me what it's called in a minute. Um, so we've got a four jaw chuck. Um, this is a genuine um, Unimat SL1. So we've got the M12 um, thread on there. So no need for any 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 con conversion pieces. It uh, just fits on and it fits on really nicely. It's a independent independent four jaw. So. Yep, as as you would expect, they all move in independently. Uh, it's actually made really nicely. Um, so I, I was very pleased to get this. Um, again, they're very old, and they they do go for a premium. So you, you know, um, this in the UK. So here, two thousand middle of two thousand and twenty, they're, they're selling between seventy five and a hundred pounds. So when you consider it's such a tiny little a tiny little chuck it's a lot of money but that's what they what they are but when you consider I know this is a three jaw but a three jaw one and you can buy a four jaw one also from China at 25 pound they are appealing from a cost point but but the quality is you know it's pretty hard to show you here but the quality is immensely different so if, if your budget can run to them yeah I think you will get better results with a four jaw uh, yep so that's really really about it the um, so so in summary I think um, the in summary really is if you can afford the genuine stuff you will end up with less stick out less um, just a better quality. It's um, it it is a uh, but but as always, budget is the uh, normally one of the driving forces for most of us. Um, yeah. Just uh, oh yeah, final thing. Got a couple of really nice Tommy bars. Um, again, from different things I've purchased uh, and what came with my lathe. Uh, I don't know whether I can get close enough for this to see if I can zoom in. No, I can't really get it going. What I'll do is I'll uh, take a photo of these and put it at the end of the video. Really nice, these machine very well. Um, again, I bought them because uh, they looked good. Um, but I do believe I'll be able to make, again, it was to be able to have a pattern for me to copy, really, to try and uh, make a nice set. The, these are clearly not genuine, but they are made extremely well. So I'm very pleased with those. Okay, well that's about it on um, chucks, chucks uh, for today for the uh, Unimat SL lathe. Hope it's given you a bit of a bit of an insight, and um, I'll make another video uh, probably on the tail stock. I think I'll do next on the SL. So just to give you a bit of an idea of that. Okay, well uh, everyone, uh, take care, stay healthy, and um, speak to you soon. Cheerio.